You know what time it is. It's time for Wheels and Waves. Uh, hopefully soon. sitting in the number one built LaFerrari. An incredible, incredible piece of art. Just rolled in, didn't even know this was gonna show up. The number one car out of 500. The plate is right there. That's a big car, Dave. I don't wanna hit the Ferrari. <laughs> you're good, you're good. Am I? Yep. Oh, yeah, you got tons of room. Keep cranking it. David, David, watch him for me. Oh, is he leaving? Yeah. I'm going to pull my belt here back. Yeah. Yeah, you got tons of room, Dave. Just grab one of those cones and put it right here. Good morning. Did you get your coffee card? Not yet. There you go. Thank you very much. All right. This is Mike, we're at Wheels and Waves, and you brought in a spectacular uh, classic Ferrari. Gorgeous. Thank and you. you. And you found the show by accident. Yeah. You, you were just driving up PCH and you landed here. I would take one of my Ferraris out every side. Okay, one of them. You, how many you got? Four. Okay, and is this the oldest one? The oldest Ferrari, but not the oldest car. Okay, what is this exactly? This is a 250 PF cab. And, and why do you have this car as opposed why to? Why not? You got all the answers, you all said. Your best story with this car in 30 seconds. No story. I don't, I don't have a story. Did you ever get pulled over? Did you ever end up at a car show by accident? I did a lot of car shows. Yeah, well, you're here at this one. Well, so, but this one's not being judged. No, no, no. We just hang out and have coffee. All my cars get 95, 99.5 in every show. Wow. Including well, uh, the one in Pasadena. If I had an award, I'd give it to you. <laughs> Go get some breakfast and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna cook it on this section because that's fantastic. It's flawless. Beautiful. Great job. Where did you... 
This is Murray, and uh, you're just driving along, minding your own business, and you end up at a cool car shop, right? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> With an amazing car, though. You have this this classic truck. Uh, tell me about it. It's a 1954, and uh, it's a first series. The, uh, this is a changeover year in Chevy trucks. Yeah, it's a 3100, it's a, it's a half ton pickup. And then all, all of a sudden in 55, everything changed again. So yeah. it's kind of like a transition year. Yeah. It's, it's a, a ministry that we do in the church. Okay. And uh, we do actually a prison ministry. Mm -hmm. It's a, um, an outreach to the probation camps in LA County called the Chaplain's Eagles. Awesome. And uh, we're part of a very large organization that ministers to all the camps and all the uh, juveniles. Awesome. In the probation Is there a website or something? Chaplainseagles.org. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's go check out the truck. Yeah. Ticket, huh? <laughs> okay. Get out of here! Awesome. Uh, this is Christian. We are at Wheels and Waves, the world's most incredible car show. You know why? Why? Because your Corvair is just <laughs> sick. Is at the show. I, I heard that this thing has uh, not always looked like this. No. Uh, well, like this, it's probably been maybe 10 years. Uh, but before that, it was pretty bad. It was pretty awful. It was pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. And you did all the work yourself, or did you have someone? Um, I did pretty. I just didn't do body work and paint. Okay. Yeah, I did everything. Uh, what's your, your best story with this current 30 seconds? My best story? Actually, one of them was right now coming over here. We got stuck, uh -huh. uh, of course, which this car does to me all the time. Um, luckily, I was close to home, was able to get back home, got it running, and we made it. Where did you drive from? That was enough. Okay, not too far. Yeah. 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 So why the Corvair? Why is, it, why is it such a big deal? It was... When I was growing up, my godfather, he had a uh, Corvair, and I loved it. He died and left it to me, uh, and there it is. Wow. And it, I have, I got like 12 Corvairs, oh, so I awesome. can't stop. All right, right. Well, let's take a look. <laughs> what do you think, Ken? Very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Later. That's a very rare vector. Look at that motor. It's crazy. I don't think you could really fit anything else in there. <laughs> Not even a wrench. B O U S H N A K. I never would have gotten that. Me neither. Not even close. Uh, <laughs> Ronan. Yeah. Ronan. This is Ronan, and he brought in a Nissan 300 ZX. Yes. Uh, Twin turbo. Sl yeah, slightly modified. Slightly. Uh, I'm not sure that you could fit anything else in there. No. In fact, we were just talking with a bunch of guys that the wrenches and all the things that you need to work on this car is probably in there too. Yes. <laughs> Can uh, you fit the wife? Why this car for you? Um, this is actually my fourth seat. I love the cars. I think they're timeless. I love the four-wheel steering, the twin turbo, um, what the car can do as a driving car. Yeah. And um, having that I have Porsches and other vehicles, this this car. It's really is, a player. Yeah. I mean, it it's, it, the power to weight is great, but you've done a few things, so it's not 300 horse anymore. Not anymore. It's 500. Five. <laughs> it's and how, how much does the car weigh? The car weighs about 30, 3,400. Okay. So that's it's not power. the lightest car, but for the time. It's a 1990, it was... Did you do all the work yourself? Me and Special TC. Yeah, yeah. crazy, crazy amount. Let's take a look at it, but great sure. job, man. Absolutely. Thanks for coming. Thank you. For sure. This guy this guy and this guy Anyways, we're about to eat something I, I don't really know what it is but that was a good show right that was great was how awesome. do you know you didn't even get you got there like nine o'clock well I heard about it yeah there you go there you go
time to go for a spin. You guys may have met my neighbor, Lisa. She's got a white Range Rover, and uh, she's gonna be my ride of the week for the Malibu newspaper for next week. So we gotta go take it for a spin, look for a place to, uh, to shoot it. Uh, that's what we're gonna do. What's up, girl? Hello. Look, look how cute you look. <laughs> This is Lisa Deutsch, and um, we're going for a spin today. 2008 uh, Sport, yes. Okay. It seems like there's a lot of Range Rovers in Malibu, but they're pretty much all black. You rarely ever see a white one, and this young lady has a white one, so good choice. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I moved from New York to uh, L.A., and then I went off to actually Aspen, Colorado, and then Maui. And then I took that's a, a, that's a switch from Colorado to Maui. Yeah, but both beautiful, one mountain, both very athletic towns, both yeah. very spiritual towns. Um, I'm also a you know, yoga teacher and artist. Yeah. And um, coming back to LA, I really came back on my surfboard. I surfed every day and uh, surfing really helped me. It was very similar to the yoga, but yeah. then in the water. And well, this is, uh, Malibu's kind of the, uh, the west coast of Hawaii. Right. Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. the closest to Maui back in LA, definitely Malibu. Yeah. My most of my career since I moved here from New York, a set decorator for movies, TV, commercials. Yeah. Yeah. We probably did some stuff together, but didn't know it. Right. And now we're now we're neighbors. <laughs> right. So why this car? What what possessed you to pick up a Range Rover as opposed to anything else like this? So uh, one of my big goals, being successful and working very hard in the industry, because you're freelance and it's not an easy job. Yeah, yeah. Uh, was to buy a Range Rover, mm -hmm. and I love white. Uh, Philippe Stark is one of my favorites. Well, white on white. That's I moved to Aspen for the color of the snow. Yeah. And um, this is my second Range Rover. Yeah. So I was doing Academy Award show and I was actually going to move to Colorado and I just finished a TV show and it was kind of a dream yeah and uh, I was looking and then I went for it and I love this car and I wanted to be a director of photography mm -hmm. and when I came out here at 23 um, they said women don't do that <laughs> And then I got into the design part, you know, production design, set decorating. And I've always been shooting, mm -hmm. uh, and then turned uh, my passion for photography into a whole business. Yeah. I really teach through my practice with my company and then my yoga about gratitude mm -hmm. and, you know, living your best life. That's I've, what it's about. Yeah. Yeah. And in Aspen was a white out where you couldn't see anything and I think my daughter was really little yeah no idea where you were going you couldn't see anything and then in Maui there was a rainstorm same thing you could not see anything Wow and uh, my Range Rover guys here they say it's one of the top cars with least fatalities and mm -hmm. I would say both those situations yeah is a miracle. and that's why there's a lot of them here you know I mean it's it's they're like driving tanks to get coffee in town. Oh, thank you. So this is one of my good friends. <laughs> You're being filmed right now. Okay. And okay. I start my day with a heart on the coffee and that's just my day in this man And it really makes my whole day. <laughs> so
So if people want to find out more about this young lady right there, look at that cute little face. Uh, where can they go? What's what's your website? Where do they where do they need to go to see more about you? So the company name is Soulful Design. Um, my Instagram is only positive, one word. <laughs> And of course it is. Of course. Soulful Design is a line from art to wallpaper to rugs with affirmations from Holland. Creating a new website selling all the product. I have coffee mugs with affirmations, yoga mats. But it's really combining that in your home, on your wall, anywhere yeah. uh, with the words and the power of words.